I started pushing forward, and uh, a lot of people thought I shit the them in the inside, but it worked out, so it was cool. Is there any names to mention your return at one of the Not yet. It's only been two weeks since I fought. Uh, I think, uh, I guess, when, when these guys, you know, win, lose, or whatever, then that, that kind of gave me more options. So uh, I guess we'll start talking after that. Well, you, you got the interim belt. That means that you're going to be mandatory for the WBA belt on the right. Keith right now. Right. So, within a certain uh, period of time. So not only that, that, that comes with, now it's going to come with two belts, right? Because the winner is going to be the yeah. unification. So they'll have two mandatory. So it'll be me and someone else. But I think Amir Khan was the, for the WBC, but he's fighting Pacquiao. So we'll see what happens from here. Uh, just because you're a mandatory doesn't mean you're going to fight someone. Uh, we'll see, but I got trust in God first and, and trust in my team. Yeah, they'll uh, maneuver things and get get the right fight for me. So we'll we'll see what happens. Do you see yourself using the new MGM Arena? I mean, you're, you're still a draw in DC. Obviously, Gary Cancel, Gary Russell show got canceled. Lomachenko's going there. But do you see that as maybe a home base for you moving forward? Uh, definitely. Uh, the venue is not that that big, but but I think. Uh, I think we should do some fights there. I look forward to doing some fights there. I uh, love the MGM Grand. Uh, I'm glad they brought it to, to outside of, 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 of the country. Um, don't have to always go to Vegas <laughs> all the time. But uh, it's, it, I definitely would love to hear that. That would be uh, a new, that would be a goal of mine and, and I guess a new dream of mine to just fight there. Who are some of the young guys out of the that I'm trying to keep my eyes on? Uh, first off, I'm going to tell you about my nephew. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's, fight, he's fighting uh, at, in, at the MGM Grand on that top rank card. Okay. Uh, How old is he? Uh, he's 23 years old, 22. He'll be yeah, 22 years old. Uh, fights at Junior Welterweight. Uh, Left-handed. 10 and 0. Seven knockouts, I think, right now. Uh, look out What's for What's his name? Patrick Harris is his name. Patrick Harris. Yeah. On the Loma Patrick Shaker Harris. Watch out. Yeah, on that Loma Shaker card. Uh, there should be a lot of fighters from the area in D.C. From, uh, from you going to be at that fight? I'm going to be at the fight. Uh, I think uh, Mike Reed from that area is fighting. Uh, yeah, yes, indeed. Uh, he was at the gym getting a few rounds at our gym uh, Friday when I was there. So, uh, yeah, it should be a good D.C. party there. And, uh, we got a few other guys, man, uh, especially uh, I, I, I never can pronounce his name right. He's from uh, from, uh, Kazakhstan, from uh, the same place as uh, Triple G. Okay. Uh, he sp I sparred with him a lot to get ready for David. And uh, I swear to you, their styles are pretty similar, very similar uh, with uh, David. So I used him with sparring a lot. Uh, he's 4 0 right now, three knockouts. Uh, he's a really good fighter. He's a, you'll see him soon. And uh, of course, you know, I got my brother and the, the, whole, the whole cast, man. We got some good, good young talent. First of all, congratulations. You are now the proprietor of the WBA Welterweight Championship. The 147-pound class continues to get hotter and hotter. You are now a welterweight champion. We have Danny Garcia, who's going to be fighting Keith Thurman tonight. And then we also have Amir Khan taking on Manny Pacquiao. We have Kel Brook defending his title against Earl Spence. Talk to us about the welterweight division. Uh, the welterweight division is hot right now. Uh, exactly. One of many uh, weight classes, one of few weight classes in the, uh, in the boxing game right now. But I think welterweight is the hottest division. As of right now, you have all type of talents uh, from all across the world, um, old veterans, uh, champions, young guys coming up, uh, top contenders, you know, the whole from top to bottom, bottom to the, the weight class is, 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 is it's exciting. Uh, but the good thing is, and the best thing is, uh, we're, we're willing to fight each other. And uh, so, so, so look forward to some good matchups in the next few years. And hopefully, it can be an undisputed champ. Uh, within the next two or three years, we, we should have an undisputed champ. And a real superstar should be uh, should come out of this whole tournament thing. And uh, we'll
to see who, who the last man standing. Now, if history has taught us anything, it's taught us that the welterweight division is without a doubt the best division in the world, at least in my opinion. Now, let's talk about tonight's fight. You're familiar with one of the fighters by the name of Danny Garcia, a fight that a lot of fight fans and a lot of fight critics had you winning, or at least coming out, you know, off a draw. What are your thoughts on tonight's fight? Who are you going with, Garcia versus Thurman? It's a hard, it's a tough one. And I go back and forth with it a whole bunch right now. I say, I have to. But, but, but something just telling me Danny going to win. Something just telling Garcia? me. Garcia? Yep. Uh, and honestly, my brain is telling me Thurman going to eat this. <laughs> Thurman going to get it. But really? something else is telling me Danny going to get it. And normally when I had this feeling, I'm right. So I'm going to go with Danny. Danny, you got a bad decision? Not by decision. I think, I think definitely if I was a betting man, right. definitely I'll bet the decision. It's going to go to decision. Now, let's talk about your options. Danny Garcia wins this fight. That means you want the rematch. Now, if Keith Thurman wins the fight, you hold the interim title, the WBA, and he holds the world championship title. Do you want Thurman, if possible? Of course. Uh, whoever wins the fight, that's who I really want to fight. Uh, but, of course, boxing is a business, and we'll see where it goes. But if it was my choice, I guess, at this point, it would be the winner of this fight. Right. And what are your thoughts on uh, Spence versus Brooke? That's one hell of a fight. That's another tough fight. Two big welterweights. Yeah, two big welterweights. Uh, I got confidence in, that, that Earl can go over there and take the title. Um, it's going to be a close one. It's going to be a good one. Good for the fans. Good for boxing. And uh, hopefully Earl go in there and take care of his business. One of my final questions, one of my most memorable fights with you is when you knocked out Kendall Holt. Now, in that fight, you're known to be a bit of a notorious slow starter, right? Are you going to get back into that ring, get back into training, and try to put that metal to the pedal? Uh, when I start slow, it's, it's mainly just getting the feel, getting the feel yeah. of things. Uh, boxing is a, it's, it's a thinking man's sport. Uh, you have to use your head in there. So I give my mind and body a chance to... Uh, Get used to the speed of the fight and uh, try to figure out the best way to go with the with with the, with the fight and the flow of the fight. And then when I feel that out, then that's when I turn it on. That's normally by like the third round when you start seeing me press people out and uh, throwing a hundred punches around. Well, I love the aggression in that fight. Well, thank you and good luck to you, my man.